All right, let's talk about Buccaneers quarterback Kyle Trask. It was announced that Baker was not starting, which I think for most people means that Baker's probably going to be the regular season starter. It certainly has the feel of, you know, even if Trask plays great, there's still probably going to be Baker Mayfield quarterback one. However, Trask at least did what he had to do in this game to make it, you know, uh, at least as much of a question as it was prior to this game. And quite frankly, this was the best I've seen Kyle Trask play, uh, which again, maybe isn't saying much given uh, how much he's, uh, you know, I think he had great preseason performances prior to this. But let's get into what I liked about Kyle Trask in this football game. Let's start off with this play. I thought he did at times show some good pocket presence. I think Trask has had some pocket presence issues over the course of his career. He's also had some good moments, and this is a good moment. I've highlighted the edge rusher for the Jets, uh, who who is going to really uh, create some pressure pretty quickly here, which just given the way the Buccaneers offensive line has blocked this preseason, uh, the edge rushers uh, on the offense's right might be getting pressure pretty quickly uh, this season. Watch how you see him get around the edge right there, and there is a, you know, uh, he is generating a pressure. Now, it's not the worst pressure you've ever seen. It's not going to be the immediate pressure where Trask is in trouble, but couple things to note Trask doesn't love what he sees right now looking down the field and also there is a clean pocket in front so Trask is going to notice this watch him step in front evades the pressure and gets the ball off to where Kate Otten actually makes a nice move and they pick up the first down on a play that there was definitely no guarantee that was going to go for a first down when it you know started so on a third down play getting that first down is definitely impressive and certainly an aspect of that has to go to Trask and his ability to keep the play long, keep the play alive long enough, not necessarily by, you know, making someone miss or something like that, but just understanding where he had room in the pocket and getting to that spot, which I would say is a very good play by him. You also had something like this, where the way the play is going to work is it's going to be a play action, which, you know, a bit of a side note, this is something that might get you a little optimistic if you're a Tampa Bay fan. A lot more play action in the preseason than we saw Tampa Bay last year. Last year, they never ran play action for some weird reason, despite the fact that they love to establish the run. Well, here, there's more play action, and it makes me wonder, is that just because they want to practice this stuff more, or is it because they're actually making an emphasis to make that a bigger part of their game. I really don't know, but it's it's interesting. But anyway, again, pretty traditional play action play. It's going to be you run to play action and have a receiver run over the middle. Okay, simple enough. Watch how Trask takes the snap. He looks over and you know, his receiver isn't even turned around quite yet, but Trask is already in the throwing motion, which I would say is very good. Watch, as you see, it ends up being a dropped pass, and maybe you could argue if he hesitated and didn't throw it as far, it would have had a you know less chance of being dropped, but you know what? Windows do not stay open in the NFL too long. You got to get the ball there in a hurry and trust your receiver is going to make the play. That doesn't necessarily mean that that was a, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. To me, I'm showing this actually to show that I think it was a good play. I think it was a really good play by Trask. Understanding the situation, knowing where you have to throw the football, and getting it there in a hurry. Sure, it wasn't complete, but again, who cares? We're evaluating Kyle Trask, not uh, the wide receiver. So for me, this is once again a play I would consider a good one. This one wasn't so great, I didn't think. Again, maybe you could disagree. There's certainly an element of bad luck. And again, I think... Two smart people could disagree on this play, but let me give my opinion on it. So first, I'm highlighting a defensive back for the Jets. He's going to be blitzing on this play. One side note is, I've noticed the Jets, they will throw in the occasional crazy coverage play in the preseason, which, hey, you kind of want to practice those too, you know, if you're a team that likes to do that. So uh, you have a defensive back blitz on this play. As you see, Trask takes the snap, doesn't notice it right away, which that's fine. Again, not expecting this to happen, especially not in the preseason. I'm not going to, you know, crush him or even really criticize him for getting sacked on this play. But Trask, while getting hit and while falling down, still makes the throw down the field. I got to be honest, I just don't agree with that decision. Now, it was nearly a completion, but there were, you know, it wasn't a wide open player necessarily to where, you know, if you miss it by a little bit, you know, it's still probably going to be incomplete, but if you miss it by a decent deal, which is understandable as you're falling down as you're throwing it, that could result in an interception. And in this situation, I don't think that's worth the risk. Not to mention, you could just fumble the football trying to throw while getting uh, while falling down like that. To me, this is a bad play. I, I don't like this play. Again, 
Some people will disagree. Some people will say, hey, look at the results. They nearly got a completion, and at the very least, it was incomplete, which is much better than a sack. But to me, a sack is much better than a turnover, which that very well could be. And the odds of something really good happening by doing this are very slim. So that that's just, again, it's a personal opinion more so than like a definitive wrong play you know when someone just misses the throw you can say that's wrong this one isn't quite that simple but I still think it's a bad play by Trask going over to this one so this is going to be it's a man coverage play it's a cover one blitz again Jets blitzing okay they're not just uh doing regular stuff and uh, you know okay cool uh, you know should make things uh, easier to get an evaluation of Trask. It's a third down and eight, and the route you see on the screen can absolutely work to pick up a first down. It's certainly worth taking a look at if you are Kyle Trask. Watch how Trask takes the snap. He's going to look over in that direction, and, you know, it doesn't appear to be wide open, but the receiver is about to make his break, so Trask is going to say, you know what, it's make this throw or take a sack, might as well make the throw. And as you see, this is an accurate throw. I mean, that ball absolutely had a chance to be caught. Trask made the most out of that tough situation. I would certainly say that was a another good play from Kyle Trask. And when things were at his best in Florida, it was him running the offense effectively, putting the ball in the right spot consistently. And, and we were definitely seeing stretches of him, long stretches of him doing that. Also, this play was fun. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, how big of a play it is, but it's a fun one where, uh, you know, what's going to happen on this play is it's a first down and 10. And watch how Trask is going to take the snap. He, you know, uh, realizes pretty quickly that the throw that he wanted to make is not going to work, but he's able to step up in the pocket to where there is no pocket. He's just completely in open space right here. And watch him be able to sidestep that linebacker and pick up a few yards. Hey, I'm not going to sit here and say that he's going to consistently do this uh, if he's the starter for Tampa Bay or even if he's the backup who comes in at some point for Tampa Bay. But you know what? Uh, him being able to do that is at least worth mentioning in the video. Uh, you know, definitely a good play there. This play was certainly a highlight where what's going to happen is that it's a zone coverage play. It's quarters coverage that the Jets are in. You have a receiver running deep and we don't see exactly what happens because it's off screen. But watch how when Trask takes the snap, he likes what he sees enough, he's going to take a chance here. Now, is this open? Well, no, not really. I mean, there's not a huge window, certainly, if it is open. I mean, there's no separation right here. And maybe Trask could have thrown this a little further. I don't know. Kind of looks like the receiver stopped a little bit. But still, watch where this throw ends up. I mean, look at that. I mean... Quite frankly, I don't see how you can really have much of a, you know, opinion on that throw being too much uh, off. Again, we didn't get to see the whole play, so we don't know for sure. But to me, that looks like a great play to give his receiver a chance. And his receiver, Palmer there, uh, you know, gives him credit by being able to make the grab and getting the touchdown on that play. So for someone with Kyle, like Kyle Trask, who his criticism has been arm strength, when he has a clean pocket, he has an arm to get the ball where he needs to get it. That's just true. Now, when he has to shorten his, you know, he has a long throwing motion. So when he has to shorten it, sometimes then he doesn't have the arm strength to get the ball where he needs to be. But, you know, he can push the ball down the field, certainly. And he showed it off on that very accurate throw down the field. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, like I said, I still think Baker Mayfield's a starter. I think Baker Mayfield should be the starter. Uh, that just what is what makes sense to me. As I said, when I made my Baker Mayfield video last week, I felt like Mayfield, uh, it was his job to lose. Uh, at this point, Trask can't win it. Uh, Mayfield has to lose it. And if Mayfield's not playing, it's going to be hard for him to lose it. But Again, it's a 17-game season. Mayfield could get hurt, or he could play poorly, and if he plays poorly, maybe Trask gets thrown in there. So it's at least nice to see him kind of finally show those flashes that we saw him show when he played for Florida in an NFL uniform. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how it translates, but, you know, at least an optimistic performance from Kyle Trask. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.